how did you go from these 13 properties in the next year after you bought your first property to then building this empire? Can you just give us like a loose strategy of, I then went from A, B, and then C, and that's kind of what your okay. roadmap was. I've always used simple life strategy. Mm. Make, invest, spend, repeat. You don't make money and spend that money and expect that when you're at the age of 65, miraculously, you're going to be a billionaire. So when I buy properties, I always have three faces, if I should call it that way, and I'm buying a single property. Okay. So, and my phase one, right? I've got, I've got the before phase, during phase, after phase. So the before phase, look at the property, visit the property, right? Do your numbers, cash flow must make sense. That is still the before phase. What systems are you going to put in there so that you can be, make it a manageable business, to make it a profitable business, right? So my question on what system do you put there? I ask a simple question. Do I see myself sleeping in this place? And if I don't see myself sleeping in this place, how do I fix it so I can sleep there as echo? That's gone. Then the second, the, 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 the during phase is cash flow again. How do I collect at least 95% of my rental every single month? Remember, okay. you make, you invest, you spend. Mm-hmm. So how do I collect that money? Every single property must give me five, one property must give me five income. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So my rental income, the capital appreciation comes mm-hmm. in. How do you get the property to appreciate, right? Mm-hmm. So what kind of tenant are you putting in the place that's going to get your property value to go up? The, sec- the third one, still during the, in the uh, during phase, is how do I leverage off my property to invest? Okay. Right? So how do you do that? The fifth one, which is one of the dearest thing to me, is how do I create a profitable legacy for generations? Oh, I see. On the same yeah. property. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? Can you Mom, just unpack that for in just a minute? Okay. So how do you generate a profitable legacy for generation? And basically, continuity. Who do I pass it to? It can yeah. stay here for the next 100 years. So for example, Joe Beck, if you get into Joe Beck, Johannesburg is 130 years old. Johannesburg. Mm-hmm. There's a yes. building in Johannesburg that's 130 years old. Yes. A great great grandfather, great great grandmother that built that building has passed away. The of children are building of that property. Yes. So that is my question, my last yes. question. That is my during phase. Because it's not for me anymore. It's about the people that are working in the grand. How does it pay their salary? How does it yes. become continuously, even when I'm gone, that people will still work for Big Rand and these properties will contribute to the income so it can pay off their salaries? Their salaries, yeah. How do my kids benefit from that? Yeah. So, so, so that is the profitable legacy for generation. And then my third, which is the after phase. When I'm done answering all this question, the after phase is what is my exit strategy? So there comes answering your question. My exit strategy has not, is not to sell my property. My exit is strategy right. is to refinance my property, get the bank to give me money so I can do- So bigger. that you can continue. Yeah. Okay. Awesome.